Hi, hello, what's up friends? Welcome to my channel, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today um, is June 9th, it's the day before my market. I, like I said in my last video, got super behind because I got sick. So, really behind on making this video. And I still have a few things that I'm contemplating making tonight before the morning. And it's already like 8.45, so yeah, there's that. Um, so I've got everything sitting next to me. I actually did get a lot more made than I anticipated getting made, um, because of the little setback, but I think we ended up with a total of like 63 items, which is almost as much as I took the last time. I think I had like 68 at the last market, so pretty close. Um, and I think I'm just going to jump right into this. I'm going to try to do it pretty quick because I do have some things that I want to finish before tomorrow, so. Let's just get started. All right, so we're gonna start with some bees. I think I have a total of, I think it was 13 bees. So I'm just gonna show you guys and move along. But yeah, and I'm trying to like toss them into my little baskets I have over there. Their wings always get so smashed. Oops. And then I think these are the last two. So the last two. All right, and then I made three chunky bees. Oops. Oh, I missed a little one. There's the last little one. I don't know. I almost missed the basket. Alright, so I have three of these guys. Also, sorry about the lighting in this video. I usually do my videos during the day when I have natural lighting so everything looks better. But, yeah, I didn't really have the luxury of doing that today since uh, I was still working on stuff up until, like, right now. Alright, so I made some whales again. These whales are super cute. The uh, pattern that these whales are from, I had been doing the fins separate and then sewing them on, but I went and I read the, um, the no-sew version of it, and I did that this time, and they turned out really good, and they're much faster to make that way, so I think I'm going to stick to that from now on, so I can make, because I made those really fast. Um... I was want to, wanting to make more of them, but I didn't have time. But those ones went like 30, 40 minutes to make, I think. Maybe less. I didn't like time myself for anything. All right, and then I have Octos. Ooh, I like those colors together. Those are pretty. I think I had a total of eight Octos this time. And I think I have one more. No, two more. It's a purple one. And then I made this one with, um, I think it was Sweet Snuggles. It's either Sweet Snuggles or Chanel Home Slim. I can't remember. So it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. But it's still really cute. And I used bigger eyes because it, it was bigger and it didn't look right with the littler eyes. The smaller eyes. All right. Next, we have little mushies. I only got five of these made this time, and some of them look a little wonky, so don't judge me. I put the eyes too far apart. But I made some different colors this time. I've made the yellow before, but I didn't make any the last market, so I wanted to make one this time. But those are really good sellers. And then, so I made one penguin, um, for the last market, and that one sold pretty quickly. There was a girl, I guess she really likes penguins, and it was the only one that I had, so she bought it. Um, so I made three this time. So I made one exactly like the one that I made for the last market, which is the blue. 
and I will go through prices um, when I get to the next part. I have it all written down. I just, I forgot. I'm trying to go fast, so. And I made a purple one. Oops. And this pink one. I love the pink penguin. It's so cute. Alright, and then I made a bunch of leggy frogs. Not as many as I wanted to, but still quite a few. I think I ended up with 12 of these guys. Oh. So yeah, lots of leggy frogs, and those are really good sellers too. These and frogs are my absolute best sellers. Um... But everything sells pretty good, or has been selling pretty good for me. So, hopefully it stays that way. I would really like to sell out again tomorrow. That would be awesome, but it's also supposed to rain, so... Fingers crossed that it doesn't, and that people actually come out. Alright, so I made eight nuggies. These are really good sellers, too. Once I started making those. Ooh, I missed. Missed my basket. But yeah, these are good sellers. My baskets are like too full. I'm past capacity. Alright, these are the last nuggies. Alright, now on to my big items. So, what I did this time, um, before I got sick, I started with all of my big items and I did like all of the parts for the big items and then I was supposed to put them all together at the end of the week that I made all of them but I didn't because I got behind so I ended up making one two three four five big items and I was working on a giraffe and I didn't get it finished and I'm not going to get it finished before the market so I will save what I have already made for that and then finish it and um, have it for my next market. Hopefully, fingers crossed <laughs> that I don't get distracted or get behind and don't finish it again. But what do we want to start with? Okay, let's start with the little cow. So I made a cream and brown cow. This was supposed to be a cookie cow. So Ren Meow's pattern um, comes with a couple of different, like, bags that you can make for the cows, and I just, I didn't have time to do it, um, so I just made a brown and cream cow, and he's still super cute, so hopefully he sells good, and then I made another cow, and I made this one, I saw, I can't remember who made it, I can't remember it was somebody on Instagram and I saw this um blue cow blue and white cow with daisies now the way that they did it they did like a daisy like two daisies on the stomach and I was like you know it would be really cute daisies on the head but I was gonna do both and I ended up just doing the one because both of these up here just looked too crowded I didn't really like the way it looked and so I put one on the stomach as well and I think that that looks really cute and I'm hoping that this guy goes pretty quick but yeah um I actually freehanded the daisy so if you guys want a pattern for that I can um make a video for you guys just let me know but I think that's my favorite thing that I made for this market well not my favorite thing I'll show you guys my favorite thing in a minute Ooh, I got hair. All right, and then I made a sunflower turtle, which I have made before. I've sold quite a few of these, um, but I haven't made one for a market in a while. So, and I wanted some some bigger items for this market because I only had two big items at my last market, and it was all small things basically. Yeah, so strawberry turtle, and then I made, I'm not strawberry turtle, <laughs> strawberry turtle's next. That was a sunflower turtle. So I made another strawberry turtle. 
the strawberry turtle sold pretty quick at the last market so I wanted to make another one and I made this um because I ran out so I made an order of the premier yarn the parfait chunky and it wasn't going to come in in time for me to make this when I wanted to so I went and bought some sweet snuggles light from Michaels and I used that for the head and the fins and then I used parfait chunky for the shell um I always use I think it's Bernat velvet and I don't know what color it is and I need to order some more so I need to figure that out but uh Bar Bernat uh velvet for the stomach and then parfait chunky for the stem so that's why the head is like huge because it's bigger yarn but I think it turned out super cute so hopefully this guy sells all right and then last but not least my favorite thing that I made for this market is the teddy bear like frog it's like a frog teddy super cute look at the eyes Let me tell you, cutting this felt out was, like, the hardest thing that I've ever done. <laughs> Not really, but, like, it, it was pretty, pretty rough there for a minute. And I messed up on the mouth. I'm not good at... If you buy the pattern or if you look at the pattern, this is also by Ren Meow. Um, the mouth... I have no idea how you sew that. Like, not even... A, a little bit of a clue how to make it look right so the mouth isn't like the best and it's not like the picture um, in the pattern but it's still it's cute and then a little frog bag and the bag opens it's not a very big bag so you can't like fit much in it but you can still put something in it so yeah this is my absolute favorite thing for this market he's so cute Alright, so that is everything that I made for this market. I'm still contemplating making a couple of eggs, um, or just one egg, and I might not even do that because it's already pretty late and I'm pretty, like, like, done. <laughs> like, I'm so ready to be done crocheting for the day, um, and I don't usually get like that. It's just because I know I have to get up early in the morning and I'm tired. So I don't really want to do anything else tonight. But um, let's go ahead and go through the prices and everything. Usually I do that as I go. I just kind of forgot. So we're going to do it now. Um, so my Chunky Plush Bees I sell for... At the last market I sold them for $18. I think I'm going to up my price to $20. So I sell those for $20. The Baby Bees are $10. Leggy Frogs are $10. Those little whales I sell for eight. Octos are ten dollars. Um, mushies are fifteen. If I make any eggs, which at this point I don't think I am, I sell those for twelve. Um, the sunflower turtle I'm going to sell for forty-five, and the strawberry turtle I'm going to sell for forty. Usually, or I used to sell the uh, sunflower turtle for forty. But I'm upping the price because it does take a long time to do the sunflower petals. And on top of everything else, it just takes a while to make. So I'm going to do a little bit of an upcharge for that. And in the future, I probably will raise that price even more. I just haven't done that yet. Um, but I'm slowly but surely kind of raising my prices as I'm getting more confident and better at crocheting. So yeah, you'll see some changes in my prices as we go along. Uh, I think I said mushies, but those are 15. Uh, oh yeah, I did, because I already said the turtles. Um, penguins are 18. No, they're not. I changed, okay, so the, the penguin I made at the last market, I sold for 18, because that was the first time I made it, and I didn't think it was the best, so I sold it for 18. Um, I'm actually upping that price to 25, because they're pretty big, and they do take... A minute to make because of all the color changes and everything so I'll have to go back and change the total value of everything because I already wrote everything down but the cream and brown cow I sell for 
$1.35 because like I said it was going to be a cookie cow but since it's not I just put it down to $35 because my cows like my strawberry cow and stuff are $40 but since this one is just like a regular cow I, I bumped it down a little bit. Uh, I sell from my Nuggies for $12 Oops. and my Daisy cow I'm going to sell for $50 because it's bigger. I used, I think, uh, I just wrote my bed by accident. Uh, uh, I sell the cows for 40, but since I used uh, Sweet Snuggles White, I think is what it was, um, it's a little bit bigger. And with the daisies, since I like freehanded that daisy, it took me a little bit longer. Um, so I'm gonna sell that for 50 and then the frog teddy bear I'm gonna sell for 45 now I had already done my total value and everything so let me just recalculate real quick and I'll get back to you guys okay so I went and recalculated um, I did end up with a total of 63 items and the total value of everything that I'm taking um, that I made for this market I still have some stuff left from winter but I don't anticipate that stuff selling so the total value of these items is $899 so my goal for this market is going to be $450 which is pretty much half of that um hopefully everything goes well and it doesn't rain and a lot of people show up there are I think 40 more vendors this market than there were at the last one because like I've said this is a a market that's every single month from like May until October and we have 40 more vendors so more people hopefully will come because there are more vendors we shall see and yeah I think that's really it for this video I'm gonna go ahead and start getting things ready for morning since we have to be there to set up by like 6 30 yeah it's a lot of fun and uh it's already pretty late so i'm gonna go do that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe subscribe i can't talk um leave me a comment and i will see you guys in my next video bye